that space, there was a film editing company. The building was in very bad condition because there was a fire. And of course, a lot of this plastic was everywhere. And when the fire came, all the roof was burned. So I saw the roof, I said, that is going to be my office. My name is Paola, Paola Navone. I'm architect by education, but I design many things. I'm living here now 10 years. I start to sleep here sometime. Then I start to bring some pots and pans for my kitchen, and then more clothes, and then shoes, and then after one year, I decide that probably I was really living here. I was born in Torino, which is a very classic and beautiful city. My university was very strict, and I already was very curious. I discover people who were producing idea instead of producing real building or real object. Memphis later was uh, full of curiosity. What can we do to break the rules of the Italian design that was already Italian design at that time? So we introduced colors. We introduced the idea that the skin, the, the outside, became more important than the, than the function. People come from outside, probably they are captured by the mess. So I capture millions of these color, uh, shape, uh, smell, and everything goes in a big basket. India goes with Japan, goes with the supermarket, everything goes there in the same basket. So this is what I always do, try to make marriage which are not really typical or classic or expected. It's not a box with nothing. Eyes. I see this wall full of things. I can't imagine 10,000 stories out of this wall. The garden in front of the office is very important for us because it's a barrier between the world and our space. When I came, I want to make a garden and the, the landlord told me no. So I took one of my radical decisions. I said, OK, the land is my land. I cannot dig. Fine, I put all this barrel. And now we have this little protection from the world. Radical is a word that has been used a lot to talk about my attitude. I never did something in a regular basis. I have a very strong attraction and I promote imperfection. Nothing is really planned in my life. Everything uh, comes a little bit by chance or by accident or by... I have to say I never plan what to do. I'm here now and I don't know what I'm going to do later.